Have you ever found yourself trying to force something to happen in your life? Maybe you are pushing for a promotion at work, or trying to get someone to like you, or just desperately trying to make something work out the way you want it to. We have all been there. But what if I told you that there's a better way? A way to let go of that need to force things to happen, and instead, let life unfold naturally. We live in a world that often glorifies the idea of force and control. We are told that success comes to those who are strong-willed and determined, who have a clear plan of action and won't let anything stand in their way. And while there is merit in setting goals and working hard to achieve them, this mentality can lead us down a path of stress, anxiety, and ultimately burnout. That's where the concept of acting without forcing comes in. It's a philosophy that recognizes the value of being present in the moment and responding to what's happening around us, rather than trying to bend the world to our will. It's about being flexible, adaptable, and open to new possibilities. And it's something that can be applied to all areas of life, from work to relationships and to personal growth. The philosophy of acting without forcing, or Wu Wei, has its roots in ancient Chinese philosophy, particularly in Taoism. The Tao Te Ching, a central text of Taoism, teaches that one should act in harmony with the Tao, or the natural order of the universe. This means that instead of trying to force things to happen or control outcomes, we should allow things to unfold naturally and follow the path of least resistance. Think about it for a moment. When you watch any performance of an artist, be it a dancer, an actor, or a musician, you know immediately when the performance is forced. It doesn't ring true, it's too artificial, it doesn't seem to be natural. Now imagine that you are an actor of your life, and the performance is your daily routine. Just like an actor needs to connect with their character and embody their role, you need to connect with your true self and embrace who you are. The idea is simple. Instead of trying to control every aspect of your life, you can learn to let go and trust that things will work out as they should. You can take action when necessary, but you don't need to force things to happen. You can be open to opportunities as they arise, and you can trust that the universe has your back. This means learning to listen to your intuition, and trusting that everything will unfold in its own time. It means being open to new opportunities and experiences, even if they don't fit neatly into your preconceived plans. Of course, this is easier said than done. We are conditioned to believe that we need to push and strive and force our way through life, but when you learn to let go of that need to control, you open yourself up to a whole new way of being. You can find peace and happiness in the present moment, rather than constantly striving for something that may never come. This Taoist principle is often misunderstood as simply not acting, but it is so much more than that. It is the art of flowing with the natural rhythms of the universe, of moving with the currents of life rather than trying to force your way against them. The universe operates on the principle of least possible action, which means that everything in existence moves with the least amount of energy and time required. The trajectory of a planet, the pulse of light, and the movement of your own body all operate under this principle. And when you learn to work with this principle, rather than against it, you can achieve amazing things with less effort. Wu Wei is not about being lazy or passive. It is about being in tune with the natural rhythms of life and knowing when to act and when to let go. When you force things, you waste your precious time and energy. But when you move with the flow of life, you can effortlessly and gracefully attain your aspirations. Think about a river flowing down a mountain. 
it doesn't force its way through the rocks and boulders. It simply flows around them, finding the path of the least resistance. And in doing so, it creates a beautiful and harmonious landscape. We can learn so much from the river about the power of Wu Wei. In your own life, you might have noticed that when you try to force things to happen, you often end up creating chaos and stress. But when you let go and allow things to unfold naturally, you can achieve your goals with ease and grace. This doesn't mean that you should sit back and wait for things to happen. It means that you should take action when the time is right and let go when you need to. When you take action, aim to follow the principle of least possible action. This means striving to achieve your goals using the least amount of energy and time necessary. It's not about being lazy or half-hearted in your efforts, but rather about being efficient and effective. By using your resources wisely and avoiding waste, you can maximize your chances of success while minimizing unnecessary stress and strain. Imagine that you have an important work presentation due tomorrow. You have been working on it for weeks and have put a lot of time and effort into it. As the deadline approaches, you start to feel more and more stressed. You are worried that you won't do a good job, and the pressure is getting to you. Now, imagine taking a step back and practicing the philosophy of acting without forcing. Instead of trying to force yourself to do a good job, you take a moment to relax and let go of the pressure. You remind yourself that you have prepared well, and you trust in your abilities. As you begin working on the presentation, you allow yourself to flow with the process. You don't try to force your ideas or your creativity. Instead, you let the ideas come to you naturally, and you work on the presentation with a sense of ease and relaxation. The result is a presentation that is well thought out, creative, and engaging. You feel confident and proud of your work, and you know that you did your best. This is the power of acting without forcing. And even if something doesn't work out as planned, and you feel like you failed, remember that letting go and flowing can often lead to even better outcomes. Perhaps a new opportunity arises that you wouldn't have even considered if you were still holding on to the old plan. The key is to trust the process, let go of control, and allow yourself to flow this way, you are still making progress, but you are doing it in a way that feels natural and not forced. By practicing acting without forcing in this situation, you are able to complete the task without feeling stressed or overwhelmed. You are also able to approach the task with a more positive attitude, which helps you to be more productive and efficient. This is just one example but it illustrates how acting without forcing can be applied to everyday situations in life. It is about approaching tasks and challenges with a more relaxed and natural mindset, rather than trying to force yourself to do things in a way that feels uncomfortable or stressful. When you act without forcing, you become more aware of the world around you. You notice things you might have missed if you were too focused on your own plans and agendas. You become a better listener, problem solver, and a more compassionate human being. You learn to let go of your own expectations and trust that things will work out in their own time and in their own way. So if you are feeling stuck or frustrated in your life, I encourage you to try acting without forcing. Take a step back, breathe, and trust that everything will work out as it should. You might be surprised at the opportunities and connections that come your way when you let go of your own agenda and allow life to unfold naturally. So I leave you with this. Empty your mind. Free yourself from all forms. Be like water, which can flow or hit, depending on the circumstances. Allow yourself to move with the natural flow of the universe and you will find that everything falls into place with effortless ease. And remember, when you find yourself struggling against the currents of life, 
Take a deep breath. Let go and flow like water again. This time with renewed strength and purpose.